Cheers, everyone. Welcome to Texas on Tap with Miss Helen, along with producer Kyle. Wow, what hey. an episode this is going to be. You're working <laughs> through blenders and mixers, and I'm working through a two-year-old and a five-year-old. Yeah, strong start. We'll see who makes it to the end first. It's almost, I feel like we're starting a race. I know. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay, you want to start or you want me to get started? Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and talk about my radio selections for this week. Some really a fun one, serious one, and boy, string me along. Let's start with J.R. Herrera Band. Brand new radio single out. It's called String Me Along. And um, basically, it starts out with she's out the door, grabs her purse, puts the lipstick on. And the whole thing is he's just being strung along. Tied to your string is better than nothing at all. Oh, my goodness. Uh, pull on that string and I'll be back again. I'll be waiting. But uh, I just like the whole mix of the song and with JR's voice and just a good solid song there out to radio from JR Herrera Band. Next radio single, Daryl Dodd has a brand new song out to radio. Well, I say brand new. A lot of you might be familiar with Songs of the Family. And to me, this song is just such a heritage, like how families sit around and, and they just, it's songs of love and hope and Jesus on the front porch when the sun's going down, singing about the instruments and um, just a great solid song. And there's just so much meaning to it, like um, giving back to what music has given so check that out from Daryl Dodd, Songs of the Family. Great song. And like I said, some of you may be familiar with it. Okay, fun, fun stuff here. We're going to open the tap room door for a brand new radio single from Olivia Harms. This is called Kitty Pool. So I have to say, been there, done that with the girls in the kitty pool. Like literally, like it was just one of those when guys just really were like, just it was just crap and it was just like okay we had the whole thing set up we had the kiddie pool we had our wine we had drinks we had the lights we had the music and we would just chill around the kiddie pool and make memories so that is such a fun song I love the old school kind of sound to it so brand new radio release from Olivia Harms kiddie pool fun yes. times in the kiddie pool oh yeah she's killing it I've been seeing her name everywhere so I'm yes I'm sure she's, she's got some other exciting songs in the can for the rest of this year adorable all right, let's see if I can get through these now. And for those of you guys listening, just a little fun fact in case somehow you don't know that things don't always run smoothly for us. They actually generally don't run very smoothly. Um, and today I'm sitting in a, a very loud Starbucks uh, somewhere in America, and Helen's got um, some uh, got, distractions yeah, have, going on in the background as well. It's called a two-year-old and a five-year-old. Yeah. But so I, did it in, I did it in radio with their daddy, so <laughs> I think we got this. Yeah. So if there's a, a weird little choppiness going on, it's because I'm trying to do my best to clean things up so you guys don't have to deal with all the uh, distractions that we're encountering. All right, I'm going to jump into mine. Let's keep the tap room doors open. Uh, big name. We haven't talked about him in a while. Bart Crow just dropped a brand new song to streaming today. So let's check it out. It's Bart Crow and Nothing's Changed. So like I said, it's been a minute since we've heard from Bart. This song's a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's just like super dang country. It's really cool. I, I kind of like I kind of like the lane that he's that he's in with that song. Hopefully, it kind of keeps going. Um, I honestly have no idea what Bart's got planned. So it's kind of exciting to to like get back on, or I guess he's back on my radar. Not that he's ever not, but you know, I imagine dropping a single to streaming like this, he's probably going to have a radio release before the end of the year too. So, well, yeah, we'll talk about that on the charts. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. I like how it's kind of got that old school kind of feel. Yeah. Love, yeah. Definitely strong chorus. And they did that really cool. Like I said, super dang country, double time, little guitar solo towards the end. Yes. So mm -hmm. very fun. All right. Moving on. Kate Watson. We just talked about her a couple of weeks ago. You had one of her, uh, we were talking about Cabo, her ready release. Cabo. So she mm -hmm. just dropped another one to streaming today. And it's actually a cover of a uh, Parker McCollum song, which obviously if you've listened to the episode, we, we had Kate on a while back and she talked about her connection to Parker. And uh, I really like that she chose to cover this song and put it out to streaming. And there's a music video with it out today. Um, yes. It's just really cool. It's they kept it super acoustic and raw and it like really showcases her voice. And that's kind of what I like it's about it the most. You get exactly. to hear all these characteristics that you wouldn't normally hear, you know, with the full band kind of recording. So mm -hmm. good stuff. Kate, keep it up. Yeah. And then I was uh, excited for that one too. But the, the thing too, that I made notes of was such control in her voice and it was yeah. just so pure, just so pure. Like definitely yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. 
Sorry, I'm trying to talk through the blenders going on in the background here. Oh, also, Kate and Darren Morris are playing at do do tomorrow night in uh, the Woodlands. So if you're out in that area, yes. go check it out. And then uh, my last pick this week is somebody that I haven't actually talked about before, but I see his name 15 times a day. It's Kyle Nix in the 38s. Uh, Kyle is the fiddle player in Turnbike Troubadours, and he just put out, I believe, his second full-length record, a uh, solo project. Uh, it's called After the Flood Part 1, and I chose Five Foot and Bulletproof. It's uh, track number two, but it's kind of like the kickstart, set the mood, get the vibe going for the record song. Uh, and it's just, it's badass, falls to the wall. Um, the thing about Kyle that impresses me is it seems like he's playing 15 gigs a week. And, you know, like Turnpike, they're flying all over the country doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'd like to talk to him. I think we should try and get him on the podcast and see like how he awesome. manages all this stuff that he's got going on. But um I, I yeah. loved at the end. I love that. I love the little kicker at the end of the song about all you kids that comb your hair, you oh, know, yeah. close down the honky tonk. Be careful who you're twirling around the dance floor. Or go home with. It's just, I just love the whole song. Yeah. It was yep. good stuff. Yeah. I couldn't pick. I mean, I just picked that one because it's the first tune on the record. I'm not going to lie. Like there's so many strong songs. So check out the full album, Kyle Nix and the 38s. And before we jump into the charts, we'll talk about our friends at More Than Music Creations. Um, I saw Michaela Kelton, who runs More Than Music alongside Michael, who's the Pat, Pat Green's drummer. They were down in Cabo at Casey's uh, Casey's thing, and she was repping some of our Texas Toast jewelry. Yes. So thank you guys for always, you know, being awesome and supporting us. And um, if if you're a listener or a fan of our show, Texas Toast, then uh, do us a solid and head over to morethanmusiccreations.com and check them out and grab some jewelry. Um they do all, all kinds of cool stuff with all kinds of different artists and uh, they're, they've got a whole project line going with us too now. So check it's, them out. It's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Please go check it out and, and get you a set. Gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. Looking at top five on CD extraction, Texas for this week, number five from number seven to number five is the great divide infinite line. Kyle parks at number four. Me when I drink Aaron Watson, seven year ache featuring Jenna Paulette is number three. Randy Rogers Band and Wade Bowen, We Ain't the Only One, stayed at number two, and Turnpike Troubadour stayed at number one with Meet Old Son again this week. Okay, nice one. Texas Regional Radio Report. You're going to love this. Okay, number five is Aaron Watson and Jenna Paulette with Seven Year Ache. Ariel Hutchins went from eight to four with Label. William Beckman's Tennessee Drinking was a, is at number three. Nice. Me when I drink, Kyle Parks at number two, and Case Harden did it again with Stoned, another number one for Case. <laughs> I love he that just, song. It's so good. I know. I do too. Love Case in addition to the song. Okay, so Texas Country Music Chart. Okay, so let me let me scroll up here because we're going to talk about some stuff. This was an exciting week on the Texas Country Music Chart. And of course, we talked about Darren Morris Band, uh, their new single last week, I Can Drink in This Bar. And it was greatest spin increase, most added. It debuted in the top 100 at number 46. We have a whole lot of more stuff coming from Darren Morris because we visited with him and there'll be an episode coming out with him. But I do want to mention that Bart Crow's Nothing's Changed was also released to radio and it debuted in the top 100 like it. 79 uh kate watson's cabo debuted good this week so yeah it was a, just a, a lot of cool stuff jam and then darren, yeah darren morris had song of the week this week also Mate, so you said it five, you said it debuted at 46 yes jesus yeah, christ debuted in the top 100 at 46 man so number five on the texas country music chart this week aaron watson and jenna paulette with seven year ache and if you want to hear this backstory on that it's on the podcast. We interviewed Aaron. He talked all about that project. Just a couple weeks number, back. Yeah. Number four is Adam Hood. Can't stand leaving. Number three is Kyle Park. Me when I drink. David Adam Burns. Number two with drinking games and turnpike troubadours held on to number one with Meet Old Son. So that's a look at the top, the top, the top of the charts. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. that makes any sense. Oh, it makes sense. We know how it works. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm still, still figuring some of the things out, but I think I got the hang of how that all works by now. Charts. Yeah um what was i gonna say oh yeah so uh if you haven't already we l listened to the podcast from tuesday we got uh we got word from shane himself that the saints got some new tunes on the way so that's very exciting that was a super cool conversation um helen got to talk with shane while they were out there in immigrant montana a couple weeks back but yeah so that was a whole lot of fun check that podcast out and then um who do we have oh we've got blue water highway coming out next week so we talked to them a couple weeks back and helen's yeah. really excited for that one so I was really excited because they are, they, I go way, way back to the very beginnings with um, 
them, Blue Water Highway. And so please support their music. They've kind of revamped. They've got some new stuff out there. They've got a new single to radio doing great. It's all in the podcast. You can hear that. And then in the future, also, we have Darren Morris. Talk to him. I swear when I interviewed Darren, it was just like talking to one of my buddies, like the, yeah. like the gate, like the fishing gang I run around with. It was just so weird. It was just like, yeah. It was, it was funny. Cool. Yeah, the flow was the flow was definitely different, but in a good way. I think that'll be. It was awesome. It was yeah. totally awesome. Like Everybody's I just felt gonna like, enjoy that. I just felt like he could be one that could just come knock on the door. Come on, come hang out with us. Let's, you know, hang out, go fishing, do some stuff. Well, speaking yeah. of fishing, so I have to give you an update on my offshore ladies mermaid tournament. Yeah. It was hilarious. Okay, okay. so <laughs> right, hopefully so, that's you good. Know, hilarious. Our captain that we have year after year, bless his heart, Captain Ron with Hook and Bull. He's such a sweet man. He's fished these waters forever. He had to go back in for another little minor surgery with um, some stuff going on with his cancer, but he's fine. It'll be good. So one of my teammates' cousins, and of all things, his name was Cody, which is my son's name, but I had this deckhand and I named him Wild Thing. His name is Ricky. Y'all, I was hoarse, almost like lost my voice. And what I loved about these boys, as soon as we got on the boat, they cranked up the jam, nothing but Texas music, all 12 hours that we fished and we fished hard. So here's lesson learned. 12 never, hours. Never give up because the bite was really, really rough Saturday, last Saturday. I mean, like we literally had about a 50 pound kingfish. We were, we were a flat line in two and he just looking at it, looking at it, just kind of wanted to do this. Anyway, so long story short, I did throw a couple snapper over, you know, got them on the boat. We ha had, um, anyway, yeah. So, you know, you have to get your King Ling Mahi. I think there was only one boat that actually got all three. And what is, what is Ling? It's Cobia. It's a, it's an offshore fish species. Okay. And they fight like they, they're really, they're kind of easy, but tricky to catch, but they're fun once you get them on anyway. So snapper a non-species so they have a non-species category now i'll call it 25 pound red snapper this one was like i lift I, it was like this is about the size of an eight pound weight no we're not going to go weigh this in for non-species so i got overruled by the captain and wild thing deckhand and so we pull up because normally we bring big fish in and so like the director of the tournament's like thumbs up and i'm like no thumbs down not good why do you think i'm handing you this eight pound red snapper so i toss it up there Lo and behold, I didn't even stay for weighing in awards because we had a load of friends that had come to visit. My friends I go to St. Thomas with were here and some other friends that came to fish. So turns out they have this lose to win drawing if you weigh in a fish and we won it. So our entry fees paid for next year. Never uh. give up. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed because I was telling the girls, I'm like, oh, seriously? So y'all are going to stand back and hide behind the captain and make me throw this baby snapper up here? Yeah, that's awesome hilarious. that's very hilarious. cool though that's so, kind of yeah, like so a joke but it worked out don't ever give up yeah and normally i don't Love but that. i was just done i was done i was like no i'm just done yeah so that's the story well that's cool i always look forward to hearing about that tournament each year that's the big one for you mm -hmm. and oh gosh and you know and once again because my, my very best friend that i fish with on that tournament we fished it for so many years together we were kind of like Maybe this will be our last year. No way. There's no way I'm giving up on Cody and Wild Thing. We're going yeah. back out next year. We're going to kill it next year. And yeah. even at that, we had a blast. We had a blast. And then Ron had taken, Captain Ron at mine, had taken our boat out and he had taken our guest out to fish for snapper. And it was so funny because like we saw him coming across. I knew what rig he was going to. And sure, he's like, that's Ron. I'm like, yeah. And so I told him, have your radio on, you know, you know, offshore, we use a radio because there's a right, no signal. Right, I right. told him what, cha what channel to have it on. Of course, he doesn't have it on. <laughs> and then we snuck up on him. And I, I said, I told him, I said, can you throw me some more beer on my boat? Because we started drinking oh, a little that's beer nice. a little early. Yeah. And hey, that worked yeah. out. Captain Ron bartending out there in the middle of the ocean. But you know what was nice? Because you and I both have been so busy. Our schedules have been so hectic. And once we busted out the jetties, and we were, we got about five miles out. I was like, oh, heck yeah. No phone, no people, no responsibilities. Just me, my friends and the fish. Let's do this. And yeah. good music. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds nice. I, I got to fly home 
for a couple days this week. We had some off days, so I, I'm back out here now. I'm sitting in a Starbucks, like I said, in in northern New Jersey. <clears throat> um, but got to spend a couple days at home and just chill the last few days, so that was nice. Catching up on reality just to jump back into this chaos for another few weeks. Um, oh, what was I was going to say, speaking of that, we've got, uh, they, I guess the chaos of the schedules just continues because whenever I get home from this tour in a couple weeks, then I'm I'm actually going to go out on a couple week long vacation myself. Good. Uh, so I was thinking about, um, I, I've seen other podcasts like re-air old episodes and like just now actually thinking about, it's crazy that this is the third time we've talked about the mermaid tournament since we started this thing. Like it doesn't <laughs> feel like we've been doing it that long, but also I think it'd be fun to re-air some old episodes almost like one of those weeks. If we just brought back like the, the Texas on tap from two years prior, that would be pretty interesting to listen to. I imagine. Well, I, I think that would be very interesting. And I think it would be very interesting to go back through a lot of those to see like some of the artists that we interviewed in the, in the beginning, like yeah. think about David Adam Burns and Chad cook. And, and, and we were talking about those the, guys every and, week, and, you know, and then all the, how everyone's grown so much just right. in the last two to three years. Yep. Like, absolutely. The, the so we'll probably, that, yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. We'll probably do that though. I think that that would be cool. Maybe in a couple of weeks we'll, uh, we'll try that out and I guess see how, let us know what you think beforehand, if you like that idea or not. But uh, I guess, unless we get an overwhelming hail, no thumbs down, then <laughs> no, we might try working. it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay. Well, what else you got? That's it. That's it. You know, but speaking of fishing, because I have my other ladies tournament coming up the end of August, lingerie on the bay. I hate the name of that that tournament. But anyway, um, it, what's really cool is Dusty Moats is doing our fishing shirts for us. Go. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen yeah. he's been killing it with the merch. Um, big things in the work there. If you know, if you oh, know, yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. I uh, see that'll give us time to work on some of that stuff too. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I'm going to go try to get a little workout in. Otherwise, I guess everybody have a good weekend. Like, share. I heard that. That was the first time I've heard anything. Hey. All right. <laughs> Look, it's all, right. all over this. Oh, this is like, what is it's, that? It's like, it's like slime stuff, but it smells like berry. I don't know. It's something, something, but it's like. Ew. Weird. Kids are <laughs> weird. <laughs> anyway that's a great note to end on i believe yes all righty well good to see you and you too. tune in next week for blue water highway love it all right cheers everyone cheers